In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remap the side buttons on a HP mouse. You can either use third party software or you can download HP's own software from the Microsoft Store free of charge. To do this on your Windows 11 PC, go down to the bottom taskbar and select the start icon. Once that opens up, look for a app called Microsoft Store. You can see it listed there. If not, use the search facility or select all and look for it from the list. So let's select Microsoft Store. So you will need to sign in with your username and password if you haven't already. And if you use the search box at the very top, type in HP Accessory Center. So you can see it listed there, it's called HP Accessory Center. So tap on that to download and install. It may take four or five minutes to do that, so be patient. Once that's done, you can close that window. And to access the program, again, select Start, select All, and it should be listed under the letter H for HP Accessory Center. So let's open up that program. So if you haven't paired your mouse yet, you can do so from this section. So you can see Add New Device, you can select Mouse, and it gives you a list of all the mouses which are compatible with this software. Quite a few different models you can see here. So mine is the 430. This page just basically takes you to the Bluetooth page and so on. So make sure your mouse is paired. Once it's paired, it should be listed at the very top on the left hand side, you can see there 430 mouse, so select that. And make sure the button assignment option is selected. So from this page, you can see all the different buttons on this particular model. So the first one you can see here is right click. Number two is middle click and three and four are forward and back by default. So if you wanna remap the side ones or any button you want to, we select the drop down menu, we select more. And then from that page, we select keystroke so what we do now we give it a name and then we select start record start recording and then we press the keys on our keyboard that we want to remap the buttons to so number three for me is going to be the enter button so some programs require you to press shift and enter for it to work correctly not all programs do but some do so what I'm going to do is press shift and enter so what I'm going to do now is give it a name number three just keep it simple select start recording then I'm going to press shift and enter. So you can see there, left shift and enter, and then select save, select yes. That's now done. And same process for number four, select more. Make sure keystroke selected, give it a name. Just keep it simple, number four. So this one's going to be the bat space key for me. So again, select start recording, press the key of your choice, in my case, backspace, select save. Select yes, and that's now done. So let's now test that. We can close that window. Just going to open up Notepad, type a few words. So I press number three, it should be enter. So you can see the cursor's going down. And if I press number four, it's going up and it's deleting the words and so on. So you can see it works fine. And it's as simple as that. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.